Hello, my name's Fran Sands. Welcome to myboxingcoach.com. Um, so this is Manny Pacquiao, five fearsome factors, and it's part two. The eight-weight world champ, 25 years at the top, top of the sport. And in a previous video, I talked you through my five fearsome factors, the things that I think separate Manny Pacquiao from the rest. And it was about his body weight distribution, the disposition, the way he holds his body, the, the body weight distribution across his feet, his long range abilities, the slight foot adjustments where he'll move slightly left and then attack down the right, his double attacks and his double arm blocks. Now, I'm a coach, so I, listen, we can talk about the theory, but actually my job is to help you develop that theory into um, action and applicable skills. And that's what this video is about. This is all about turning those fears and factors into drills that you can use and put into your training regime um, to really inspire and excite you. So have a look uh, at these uh, drills based upon Manny Pacquiao's five fears and factors. Five fears and factors of Manny Pacquiao, the drills. Um, let's, we're gonna do three rounds of two minutes each round. And we are going to drill long range work, long range effectiveness. We're going to drill double attacks and we're going to drill um, minor foot adjustments. So drift one way, attack the other way. Let me just talk you through three simple lines on the floor. Very simple. Centre line. Okay, so as in our stance, our line goes from our toe on the front foot to the heel on the back foot. And then we've got a duplicated centre line. And I'd say that's, that's about the width of my foot. You're talking about maybe 12 inches on that side and likewise a third line on that side. Three lines all running parallel. Top two lines cutting across, they are about ooh, eight inches, no more than that, but this far apart. The most simple footwork drill pattern set up. Easy, simple. So we are drilling the five fearsome factors. So think about the Pacquiao body weight disposition, the body weight central wide stance bladed upper half. Think about his long range effectiveness, his drift left, attack right, or so drift to his dominant leg, his left leg, attack down his dominant leg side, uh, his non-dominant leg side, which is the right leg, his double attacks, his intensity of double attacks, and the double arm block. Long range. So what we're going to do? It's three, three different um, sequences um, that we're going to use, um, and just follow them through. Jab. Slip out, so push off the back leg, come back with the back hand. So you've got one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Drive off that back leg. So when the shot lands, the rear ball of the foot is in strong contact with the ground. One, two, three. Drive off the back leg. Second sequence. Jab, slip in, jab. Jab, slip in, jab. Now the good thing about slips, it not only takes your head off the centre line, but it acts as a feint. Everything really simple. So the first drill, you've got one, two, three. Second drill, one, two, three. You're going to do all of these in two minute at a two minute round. Third drill, one, jaw, duck, jab body, one duck jab, one duck jab, don't one, two, don't punch down, the hand is away from the guard position for too long, so three sequences, just do that for the whole two minutes, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then follow it on. Keep everything under control. Don't rush things. Slow is smooth. Smooth is fast. So that's a two minute round. Then you rest. 
the next two minute round. So we're starting at the lead line, okay? Imagine that's long range. So you can land your long range punch when you stood at that lead line. So you've moved into range, triggered the opponent. So here's the, here's the drill. Slow right down, jab, out, in, one, two. Jab, out, in, one, two. Jab, out, in, one, two. The really good thing about these drills, when I see a nervous boxer, or when I see a boxer who's unsure of themselves, you see a lot of this. They bounce, they bounce, they, they, they don't want to settle the feet. Use your feet as a platform for good attack and defense. This is good practice. Not bouncing, holding the feet. One, out, in, one, two. Simple, clean, good practice. You can get this roughly the same effect doing the layback. So what you, you've got then is you're using this leg to pull yourself out of the way, but watch the way you do it. One, two. So you've got one, two, one, two. You just bend that leg and that has the effect of taking my head out the way. You got one, two, three, four. Double jab. Doing it that way. One, two, three, four. Happy? Last one. One, two, three, four. That's the second round of drills. Third round. This is very specifically um, Pacquiao. I'm going to demonstrate from the orthodox stance. Remember, Pacquiao is southpaw. So he would drift that way. If I was boxing an orthodox, this would be equally effective. The tactics just... So if someone who was boxing Pacquiao did the same as him, they would have a good chance of working. So all I'm going to do, move to my dominant side. Little jab as you go. One. One. And then attack going back that way. One, two, three, four. In fact, we can start at this line. That way you can get two moves across. So you jab, step across. Jab, step across. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you're guiding round as well. I could put extra lines here, but that's the drill. Repeat over and over and over again. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Simple. Three drills, all designed to instill some of the fearsome factors of Manny Pacquiao. So that's it, simple. Um, key thing with drills is, is disciplined repetition. The more you repeat stuff, the better you become at it. Um, and it's a really effective use of your time. Look, that's seven minutes now. Clearly, it's not huge. It's not a huge exertion. So you don't have to do that in a gym session. You can just do that. You don't really need a warm up to do drills like that. You know, it's not about building up a sweat. It's about instilling the skills and getting them right through um, through repetition and um, deliberate practice. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed that. Please do leave a comment. Does that does that work for you? You know, do 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 those drills represent the five fears and factors, or what fears and factors have I missed? Um, I'd really like to hear your thoughts. Otherwise, click like, hit subscribe, even better. Um, or you can, and I should say, you can download my book, The Beginner Boxer Toolkit. All you need is your email address, um, and inside there, 64 pages packed full of information about how to set up your own home gym, the 10 key basic skills with links to all of the videos. That's the cool thing about an ebook. You get links in there that take you through to videos. How to set up your training regime, heavy bag work, shadow boxing, the lot. You can download the Beginner Boxer Toolkit using the link here or down below. Um, otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Part three is all about the execution.
Okay, thank you.